Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to download and install Microsoft Office on Mac. We're revisiting this video as the process is slightly different from our last video. But before we get started today, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first step in this process is to remove any currently existing Office uh, software from your computer. This is a fairly straightforward process. We're just gonna go to our Applications folder. We can find that from our Finder, and then we're gonna select any of the Microsoft Office applications, right-click, and move to Trash. This is gonna require your computer administrator password, same password you use to log into your computer. Oops, okay, there we go. And then I'm also gonna search in here for Office. Now, as we can see, we have an application here called Office. I'm also gonna move this to my trash. We're gonna right click, empty trash, and confirm empty trash again. All right, next up, we're gonna go to a web page, setup.office.com. This is where the layout may look slightly unfamiliar as it's an updated design from Microsoft. However, the steps are pretty similar to how they used to be. One thing that's gonna be required as soon as you're on this website is that you need to have your product key. Again, if you still need to purchase your copy of Office, check that link in the description box below. If you already purchased, you may have bought it directly from Microsoft or you may have got it from a certified reseller. Whatever the case may be, you should have that product key in your email. So you're gonna to wanna to go and find that and copy it. Next up, we're gonna to have to sign in. So we'll go ahead and sign into our Microsoft account. I'm getting emailed a code here for login and I'll go ahead and hit sign in. All right, from here, we are prompted to enter a product key. So I'm gonna pull this up and I'll go ahead and copy that in. Now it's checking the product key automatically. And we can see here that I am able, see here to, that redeem I am able to redeem key. this product key. So go ahead and do so that. Go ahead and do that. And the last step is now it's gonna automatically redirect you to this page, services and subscriptions. From here, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna scroll down and underneath products you've purchased, we're gonna see our newly activated product. In this case, that was Office Home and Business 2016 for Mac. All we have to do is come over here to click install. We'll click install again, and that's gonna download our setup file. It's gonna download as a .pkg, and I'll see you guys when it's downloaded. All right, so the .pkg is finished. We're gonna double click that, which will launch the installer. From here, we're gonna click continue all the way through and we'll hit agree on any of the pop-ups that come up. We'll click close application and install. And then this is gonna require the same password that you use to log into your computer. And we'll click enter. Now we're just gonna let the installation run. We'll see you guys when it's finished. All right, and we just got a message that the installation was successful. So I'll go ahead and hit close and then move to trash. Don't need the installer anymore. And if I go into my applications folder, we scroll down, there we can see our Microsoft Office applications. Let's go ahead and open up Word and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm inside of Microsoft Word. I'm gonna click activate here in the bottom left. Again, we're gonna need to sign in to our Microsoft account. This process might differ slightly depending on the year and version of Office that you have, but in general, it'll be um, in the bottom left corner or it could be in the file tab as well. So I'll enter my code here and sign in. All right, and we've got a notification here that we are all set and we are ready to start using Word. Now, we only have to do that in a single application. If we go, for example, and open up Excel, it's already gonna be activated. We don't need to repeat that process in all of the apps. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about this installation process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you have yet to purchase Office, check those links in the description you can save on your purchase. Feel free to comment any specific video topic ideas that you would like for us to cover. And as always, we really appreciate a like and subscribe, and it helps make more videos like these possible. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.